Hello and welcome everyone to the another lecture regarding CSI today. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to see this uh, drawing menu. On the topmost, uh, we are having the menu bar and we have studied till now the regarding the file added view detailing and details. Now in this lecture, we are going to see uh, what we can modify in this drawing menu. Okay, the first option that we are getting is default drawings. Okay, I have already opened up a project here. Okay, so for doing all these things, you need a uh, detailing open in the back. So you can go into first the default drawing option, then there will be pop up. So this pop up asks whether you want all these drawings to be displayed or not. Okay, so let's say if you just need this uh, uh, concrete beam and schedule elevations and walls elevation and schedule, you don't want this slabs. So you can just uncheck them and you can press OK. You can see OK is not at this time active. It is because the detailing is locked. You must have to unlock it. OK, it will ask you if you, you need to unlock it. Press OK, then I'll go to drawing, default drawing. Then I can uncheck it and I can press OK. Now, to uh, see if the results uh, have been completed or uh, the things that the uh, slabs won't come into our drawing, it can be only possible if you again run this detailing by this option. To save time, I'm not going to do that, do that thing here, but you can use this option, default drawings, and you can choose only the drawings that you need. Okay. Now, sometimes it happens when we go inside the uh, client or the contractor ask, I only need a column schedule, I don't need the other schedule. So at that time, you can go into default drawings and just check the column one and then print it. Okay. So this is quite uh, handy. Then there's another option that is drawing sheet set. I, if I click on it, there will be a pop-up, it's a big pop-up, okay? Let's see what are the options available. We are having sheet type, that is what kind of sheet size you are having, E1, E0, E2, E3, E4. On the site, we are having different uh, type of sheets, okay? So whatever uh, is your dimension, you can uh, check the sheet from here, okay? Uh, let me share a screen with you regarding the uh, sheet. Here you can see the a7 sheet is the smallest. If you double it, it will be a AC sheet, A6 sheet. Okay. If I double the A6 sheet, it will be an, uh, you can say, uh, A5 sheet. If I double the A5, it will be A4 that we usually use. And if I double A4, it will be A3. And if I double the A3, it will be A2. The sizes are written here. And if you double A2, you will have a A1. Now, at last, if you are going to double the size of A1, then it will result into a A0 sheet. So the dimensions are here and it totally differ from place to place that uh, uh, where we are going to use A1, A2 and A3. Generally for the plan layouts, we are going to uh, use the A1 and the A2 and for the small projects like G plus one, G plus two story building, we are also can be uh, okay with the A4 and A3, okay? So you can choose either of the way from the CSI data, okay? Now we are having the options like plans, what kind of scale you need for the for your plans, then for the tables and uh, for the elevations. Just uh, uh, for the plans and elevations, always and always uh, check this, that is, uh, it must have to be scale to fit and elevations also must have to be scale to fit. And if you have worked in the Excel, you know what is the wrapping. Okay, what is the wrap tax meaning? So the tables we are having auto wrap. Auto wrap means if the, uh, let's say the width of the column is quite uh, small and the text is going out of it, then it is going to wrap it. It is going to shift that text to the next line. Okay, so uh, uh, try to uh, check the auto wrap always in the tables. Uh, then we are having the margins. You can set the margins here for that drawing. Okay, then we are having one of the very important option that is border and title block. See. Uh, on the bottom, there is a sample of a title block. Uh, there are a bunch of title box that you can find on the internet also. I can uh, share, you a, share you a page here of, from the Chrome. Uh, this is the site that is your spreadsheets.co.uk. It's having a free download of uh, the title box. Like it is having metric sets and imperial set and all. So I have downloaded it and I can share you with, uh, with you this, the title box. So this is uh, the title block that is opened in the AutoCAD, you can see it is having A0 size title block, A1, A2, A3, and A4 vertical, and it is also having A4 horizontal. Whatever the kind of uh, drawing you want, whatever the title block you want, you can uh, take from the internet or you can make it by yourself also. Okay. So 
this is quite easy you can just do it and if you want to change all this thing uh, because this is already made it's kind of a template so it will be quite easy for us to change the values if i double click double click on this uh, thing there will be a pop up it is a kind of a attribute editor that means uh, uh, it is having a tag that is site single line and the title single line that means site if you want to write any uh, thing at the site that means the address of site there currently the address of site is 31 rover road that means if i zoom out i can see here this is 31 rover road if i want to change it let's say i want to change this 31 rover road to let's say road number 9 uh, new delhi whatever can be the uh, address okay so I press okay it will be there so it's kind of attribute editor you can uh, change the title from the title you can change the date okay you can change the scales okay so you can make your own drawing on detail uh, drawing with the help of this template okay so go check it out on the google there are um, too much of sites that are offering free title blocks okay or also you can make it by yourself now back to the uh, csi detail so uh, csi detail also provides us with a bunch of options there's uh, rather you don't want any uh, title block or rather you want a predefined block this is the predefined block okay if you go to this option, it is having three options that what kind of title block you need. Uh, do you need it at the right? Do you need at the right but with a small uh, shape or at the bottom? Okay, so it will be better if you take the uh, title block from the Google and because the, those are quite attractive, it is not that much attractive. Okay, you can also get the user defined from here and you can import the drawing. Uh, directly from here but this option sometimes don't work because the uh, scales are not sometimes fit the boundary lines are not sometimes scale up to the drawings so always try to uh, use the predefined option and then you can copy those drawing to the title block that you have downloaded from the google okay at the bottom we are having text sizes what kind of text sizes you need because uh, this is quite important and handy because when you are going to uh, draw complex drawings uh, for example let's say you are uh, uh, you are having a plan which is having a uh, several number of columns then the steel will be quite of very congestible in the drawing and for that the text will become more consistent so at that point at the beam column junction also at the footings also the text text will become quite uh, big and it will be it will be in a conjunction so at that time you can play with this heights uh, and you can increase and decrease them to uh, remove that conjunction okay we have the symbol size line thickness and all this things okay. this is the option that you can change it from here it is the drawing sheet set okay moving on to next we are we are having drawing format properties if i click on this this is not that much useful but you can do it if you want to make one of your structural component uh, look different from the other let's say i want my beam to be blue and all the other things being green I can go into beam and then I can click this line tab and slab section in beam. I can select this beam center line. I, I, I will click on this and I'll select blue line. Then on the beam outline also, I'll click the blue line and then I'll press OK. So whenever I'm going to export the drawing into the AutoCAD, our beam will look uh, quite blue in color there. Okay. Now, so there are a other bunch of options here. You can uh, play with all these things. You can uh, change the color for the tables, for the important drawings, for the slab, for the beam, column, and wall, and all that. It is having uh, four, uh, you can say, tabs. That is line, fill, text, and arrowheads. What kind of color text, what kind of font, the size you want, what kind of arrowhead you need, triangular, it must have to be triangular, or it must have to be triangular short, half up, half down, this kind of thing. Okay, so you can play with all these things. Then we are having add blank sheet. If you want to add a blank sheet, you can do it. Uh, add views to draw. Let's say you have uh, um, removed some of the drawings and now you want to add it. So you can go to add view drawings. Now it will ask you which drawing you want to add. You want to add the floor slab or the beam or the column or the ball stacks. Okay, so let's say I want to add ball stacks. I will check on the ball layouts and then on the right hand side window, I can select the available drawing that I can press. Okay. At this time, I am already I am having all the drawings, so I want to, I, I am not going to check it. You can do this from here. Then at the last, we are having two very important options that is print drawings. Let's say uh, from the model explorer, I am going to uh, uh, open up a beam layout. Okay, no need to worry about how we are going to use these things. Okay, I will let you know. Uh, let me open up a elevation, not a plan. Open up a elevation. 
Okay, let's say this is a beam uh, elevation and I want to now export it. I want to print it. Okay. Uh, so you can go into drawings and then we are having option print drawing. If I click on print drawing, there will be pop up. This pop up will ask where you want to print it. There are a bunch of options. If you have a printer, it will be shown here. If you have a, a Microsoft a printing PDF uh, add on, it will be here. Okay. So it is in, the, in Windows 10, Microsoft print to PDF uh, uh, add on is by default uh, used. So I am going to make a PDF here. Okay. So uh, I'll select this PDF and I'll select the size as A4. And because it's kind of a uh, landscape, so if I select the portrait, the drawing will be quite squeezed out. I'll try to check this as a landscape, okay? And then I'll select uh, start printing, okay? If I click start printing, it will build up that drawing according to our, uh, uh, that is, uh, systems. At this point, you can see we I have selected all drawings. That means it is it is going to print all the drawings. I don't want that, okay? So I'm going to close it. I'm going to select a drawing again, print drawing. Okay, and I'm going to select A4, then I'll click select drawings, and then it is having selected drawings. So I can select the drawing that I need, uh, what kind of beam elevation I need, what kind of uh, column I need. Okay, or there is another option, you can just open this drawing and just right click, and that we are having print view. If you cl click the print view, then a pop up will uh, come. Okay. So there it is, this is the pop-up, then it is same as that we have just done before. So you can just click landscape here, or you can go for the print, the sample will change. Okay, because our drawing is quite uh, big in length, so we can use landscape to make it easily available. We will select A4 from here, keeping all the margins in same, it is having a by default title box here, we are going to print it. Okay. If, I'm, if I select print, it will ask you whether where you want to save it. I'll select desktop, I'll give it a name, one, two, three, and I'll save it. Okay. Uh, after a moment, it will be generated. Okay. It is done. Let me open this. If I go on to desktop, I'm having a file, one, two, three. Okay. You can see this is our file. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. Now you can see it's kind of a very small beam the readings are barely visible so what you can do you can go and change the scale and the change the text height that i have uh, just showed you how you can do all these things okay so you can also use change the scale okay if i click the 125 the drawing will be out of the margin if i go to 120 it will be more bigger if i go 150 it will be kind of inward I can play with all these X, uh, scales and check which one is best suitable one. This is kind of look good. I can print it and I can take it out on the graph. Okay. So uh, this is how you can print them. Now the last option is the, the export drawings. So it is kind of very important. If I click on this, we are having two options to export our drawings. That is first is DXF format and the second is DWG. So I'll select the uh, DXF format. And this is saying if you want to export all the sheets, if you want to export all the sheets, you can uh, export all the sheets. It will take some time, okay? And depending on the project, depending on the drawing uh, of yours, okay? Or uh, if you just want to export a specific drawing, you can select sheet and then click select and you can select what kind of uh, drawing you need. You need a slab framing planes or the concrete beam elevations or the concrete column elevations, okay? So you can do it. Where you want to save it, you can save the place. Let's say, for example, I'll go to select sheet and I can I'll select, let's say, bowl elevation section one. And I'll press OK. Okay, I'm having drawing exchange format that is DXF format. I'll click start export. It will be exported to where? E YouTube dot content, the thing that I have already fixed here. I'm not, I'm going to select this thing. Let's say I'm going to select the text. I'll press OK and I'll click and start export. Okay, after exporting, a ready will be written here. I'm going to open up my Autodesk AutoCAD. I'm going to open up the file that I've just made. I'll click on open. I'm going to desktop. Then I'll click this tall building to wall elevations. Okay, I'm going to open it. We'll wait till it opens up. So as you can see, this is it. It is our column schedule 
you can zoom it and check that it is story one you can see it's kind of a blue in color it is not quite uh, easily uh, observable in the, at this moment of time in the autocad but here's the beauty you can change all these things okay you can change the colors and all this is the by default plus that are chosen by uh, the C, uh, csi detail that i just show you in the previous and you can go into the drawing sheet setup and change the colors okay drawing format properties you can change the colors everything is there you can just increase all this uh, dimensions and you can uh, pass this drawing onto the site and letting them know how you can do it. this by default uh, uh, title block can also be uh, editable if you go to this client section and uh, the client is uh, currently by default csi detail if i double click it i can Added it okay. I can just press uh, delete or backspace and I can uh, write my own mm, client's name. Okay, let's say I'll uh, write Sunil Math. Okay, so this is how you can do it. Consultant, you can write your company or your company, you can write the dates, you can write the drawing number, you can write the details. You, if you have any description right here, you can write the description. It's kind of a revision thing, so whenever the things. So, or revise you can do it here you can write here what kind of concrete what kind of steel we need m30 m40 what kind of steel you need okay so this is how you can make the column schedule and beam schedule drawings easy okay so this is it for this lecture we have uh, in this lecture have seen how this drawing options work if you like this video please share it to your friends so that they can also get advantage it is totally free okay and the technical knowledge of regarding the software is lacking in our industry so students need to know how the software works okay so meet you in the next video thank you